Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Very good, teacher. Yeah, that's nice to hear that. And the rest of you? Como les ha ido? Hi, como les ha ido? Excellent teacher. That's nice. Espero que hayan avanzado con los ejercicios de la plataforma. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con alguno de ellos. Recuerden que esta es la última semana de clases. Um, entonces tiene que estar ya todo listo, terminadas. Um, incluso el examen final, ¿verdad? Si necesitan ayuda con algún ejercicio, háganos saber para poder asistirles. Um, veo que aún falta bastante gente, pero bueno, vamos a comenzar en honor a los que están temprano. Ayer estuvimos um, practicando un poco sports and seasons, right? Entonces ahora vamos a seguir con ese tema, hablando siempre de sports and seasons. Y vamos a empezar con el video que ayer no pudimos ver, en donde se nos explica con la estructura de las WH questions. Y eh, la, también la conversación que practicamos. Así que vamos a empezar con eso. Y pues, a ver, espero que se unan más pronto. Mm, vamos a ver. Ok, here's my screen. Let me chart sound. Okay, we couldn't see this one. And the first video is the vocabulary. So, el primer video solo es para ver el vocabulary de sports and seasons, que ya lo vimos ayer en el, um, y practicamos y definimos vocabulario. Eh, vamos a ver el de las WH questions y la conversación, eh, ya como para hacer un review. Y ya que este no lo pudimos ver ahora, ayer, lo vamos a ver ahora. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well. I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. 
Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so to continue with this, um, that was just a, like a review. And now we're going to practice what we already see about the WH questions. Vamos a poner en práctica la gramática con lo de las WH questions. Eh, así como las vimos a, acá en el video y pues estuvimos discutiendo un poco de eso ayer. Vamos a completar esta conversación con la eh, WH question correcta. Eh, y luego vamos a practicar eh, la conversación. Hay que leer, por ejemplo, esas son conversaciones, dos conversaciones. Hay que ir como siguiendo el hilo para saber cuál es la WH word que necesitamos. Eh, por ejemplo, en la primera empieza I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? Y luego pregunta, está el espacio y dice, do you like to watch? Entonces ahí la que mejor complementa esa pregunta es What sports? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Y luego pues seguimos la secuencia y hay que ir completando esa conversación con las WH questions correctas. Eh, para que sea más fácil lo vamos a pasar a hacer en grupo y luego vamos a verificar las respuestas. Let me create the breakout rooms. Okay. Here we go.
Did you finish the exercise? Yeah. Okay, good. So let us check your answers. Let me, um, I'm going to share this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me share this with you here. Okay, so for the first conversation, the one, okay, the first one is already done. The second space, what do you have there? After soccer, it's my favorite. Yeah. Where, uh, when, sorry, uh, when do you usually watch soccer? Excellent. When do you usually watch soccer? And then it answer is on Sunday afternoon. Okay, what comes next? And? Where? 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 All right, let's see. And where? Yes, that's correct. And where do you usually watch it? Uh, at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. Okay, conversation number two. What do you have in this space? How often? Excellent. How often? How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Okay, and then it says, really? When? When do what you go? Time? What time or when? Ah, Cual what time? Ajá, excellent. Como pueden ver, cualquiera de las dos, pues bueno, podrían poner what time or when. Ambos se refieren a, a tiempo, a qué hora o cuándo, yeah. So, cualquiera de las dos opciones is correct. What time do you go or when do you go? Very good. Now, usually at about one o'clock, right? What's next? Who? Oh yeah, who do you usually go with? That's correct. Oh yeah, who do you usually go with? And then the answer is my sister, come with us next time. Okay, so uh, let's see. In the material, I uh, included the, the answers so we can practice the complete conversation. Acá tenemos la conversación ya completa. Las respuestas, lo que acabamos de hacer en el ejercicio anterior. So um, let's practice pronunciation. I'm oh, sorry. Let's repeat. I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Saturday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. Okay, now let's practice conversation number two. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Uh, 
Oh, yeah? Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Okay, now that we practice the conversation, is there any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Okay, I'm going to create a breakout room so that you can practice the two conversation with the classmates. ¿Podría alguien compartir su pantalla, por favor, para eh, hacer la práctica? Ok, lo intenté. ¿Dónde está completa o sería, verdad? Sí, para ya solo leerla. Ok, veamos. Ahí se ve. Yes. Ok, comenzamos. Um, Tú podrías ser A y yo B, por ejemplo. Okay. I watch sport on TV every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On oh, Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. Um, how often do you go back riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go back riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you walk? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Good do you... Usually go with my sister. Come with us next time. Nos perdimos, quizá, ¿verdad? Ah, no, era otra conversación. No, era otra conversación. Es que Ajá. ya terminó la primera y Ajá. pasamos a la segunda sin avisar. <ríe> sí, sí. Pero bien, estuvo bien. Digo yo. Sí, se eh, escuchó bastante mm. bien. Ok, thank you. Sí, and bastante now. bien. A medida que lo practique más, lo van a poder hacer más fluido, pero en pronunciación estuvo muy bien. Ok, okay thank you. Y, y ahora las, los otros compañeros. Sí, con Edith. Eh, Joana. Ah, no. Ah, Ajá, sí. Edith. Ajá. Y no sé. Joana. No sé. ¿Cuál sería usted? Eh. Si quieres, comienza tú. Ok. I watch sport on TV every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? Oh, Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home. No, at my friend's. At my friend's house. 
He has a really big TV. How often do you go by reading? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by reading. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usual at about one o'clock. Oh yeah, who do you who do you usually go with? My sister come with you next time. Okay. Very good. Solo el. El deporte es bike riding, porque si decís reading, está diciendo leyendo. El verbo leer. Ok, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Ahora sería yo, B. Comienzo yo con Ala. Uh -huh. um, I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. Pues sí, mm. Vamos sí. a la segunda. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Eh, How often, tú? Okay. How often do you go by riding? Oh, at a, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Uh, who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Very good. Y ahora eh, las compañeras cambiarían el papel también. Ajá. Yes, ahora yo sería B. Ok, comienzo. I watch a sport on TV every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you? compañeros. Aún tienen tiempo para terminar, tienen 44 segundos. Sí, pero creo que mi compañera se fue. Ok. <risa> sí. Sí, se fue. Sí, solo quedamos nosotras dos. Yeah, ok, so, no worries. Sí. Ok. Oye, ¿qué te digo, with? My sister, come with you next time. Uh, it's come with us. Come with, with us. us. Oh, yeah, excellent. Come with us next time. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. You did a very nice job. Bye. Bye. Okay, so everybody's back again.
and we will continue then with next thing here in the presentation and see what it is. Okay, for the next exercise, let me close this. Okay, here it is. Let's complete the conversation with WH questions. Um, abajo tenemos como la respuesta y en base a esa respuesta vamos a escribir nosotros cuál es la WH question eh, para eso. Por ejemplo, si ven la primera, en la parte B, dice I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Entonces, si él me está diciendo, me gustan muchos uh, deportes, pero el que realmente me encanta es el voleibol. Entonces, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? What sports do you like? Okay. Now, en la B dice, I usually play with my sister and son friends. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Who do you usually play with? Who do you usually play with? Ok. Vamos a dejar que hagan las otras tres. Ahí las pueden ir anotando en su cuaderno. Las tres preguntas que restan. Les voy a dar unos eh, dos minutos para que hagan eso y luego chequeamos. Okay, finished. Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, let's see. Hicimos las primeras dos. Uh, para la que sigue, we practice on Saturdays. Volunteer? Uh, yes. Okay. Dice, what time do you we practice? What time do you practice? I don't know. What uh -huh. time do we practice? Mm. Okay, ahí sería, what time do you practice? The subject. But then it's okay, la estructura está bien. Solo el sujeto. So, si nos preguntan a nosotros, sería, ¿a qué hora practican ustedes? Entonces, respondemos, we practice, nosotros practicamos on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, no. thank you so much. Then, we start about noon. What is the question there? Volunteer? What time do you start? 
What time do you start? Okay, excellent. And the last one? Where do you play? Where do you play? That's correct. Thank you so much. Uh, so next thing is the pronunciation topic. Let's watch the video for this one. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Uh, very important thing. Esto es muy importante, ¿verdad? Con lo de la pronunciación del verbo auxiliar can y can't. So, uh, porque es un poquito eh, difícil de notar a veces la diferencia si estamos haciendo en afirmativo o negativo. Entonces, el tip que se nota ahí, que si es negativo, extender un poquito en la NIT, I can't, right? Para que se comprenda bien que estamos haciendo una negación. Okay. Y pues hay un ejercicio de listening. Eh, lo vamos a hacer, que es ese que está ahí, dice Paywords. Um, bueno, que este creo que mejor lo vamos a, a dejar para después. So, because it is in breakup rooms. Y ya casi no tenemos eh, tiempo para eso. Y es una práctica bien sencilla. So, um, vamos a practicar la pronunciación de can y can't. Haciendo uso de ello en esta conversación. Para aprovechar el breakup rooms. Para no ponerlo dos veces haciendo eh, ejercicios diferentes. O hacer una práctica con dos cosas a la vez, mejor lo vamos a hacer de una vez con la conversación. And let's play it here. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. 
Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't 
play basketball. My coworker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, ese es el último tema que tenemos en la plataforma. Esta fue la gramática del auxiliary verb hand. Um, how did you find it? Is it? Do you think it's easy topic or is complicated for you? ¿Está fácil o está complicado? Hello. Difficult. Easy. Difficult. Easy teacher. It's easy. Ok, so es un verbo auxiliar. ¿Y qué significa? Como verbo es poder, pero como... Bueno, como auxiliar creo que es lo mismo. Eh, sí, como auxiliar y verbo tiene el, el mismo um, significado. Eh, nada más que si se fijan, bueno, eso es, eh, estamos en siempre con el tema del presente y vamos a estar hablando con Ken para expresar habilidad. Tiene otro uso, que es aparte de expresar habilidad, ¿qué puede ser? También se utiliza, exacto, excelente, para pedir permiso. Eh, por ejemplo, si uh, quiero decir, um, ¿me puedo ir? Can I leave? Mm -hmm. Can I leave? So, también se utiliza para pedir permiso. Y en este caso, pues, en el, de acuerdo con el tema que estamos viendo, lo estamos utilizando para expresar habilidad, para decir, yo puedo hacer tal cosa. I can do this. Ok, entonces es, y se dice verbo auxiliar porque eh, necesitamos otro verbo después de can. So I say, um, yo puedo que. Okay, I can play the piano, right? En, en este caso, um, decir yo puedo digitar rápido. I can type fast. Ok, so. Después de can, el verbo auxiliar que eh, nos está indicando eh, habilidad y pues el otro es la acción. Lo que podemos hacer son, en este caso sí necesitamos dos verbos en la oración, pero uno es auxiliar, que es can. I can do this or I can't. Si es negativo, ¿verdad? Es cannot. Ok, so ahí ya no se utiliza el el don't o olvide, that's another thing. Es otra cosa lo que hemos visto anteriormente. Y esto pues igual lo vamos a practicar. Y um, ahí tenían el cartelito con lo que es la gramática y la conversación en la que se practica este tema. Ok, estamos hablando de que can lo vamos a usar para expresar habilidad. ¿Cómo se forman las oraciones? Se nos explica primero va el, el mm, sujeto, puede ser el pronombre o el nombre de la persona. Por ejemplo, yo podría decir um, María, si, si fuera ella, ¿verdad? María can sing very well. Estoy diciendo que María puede cantar muy bien. O usar el pronombre personal, she. She can sing very well. Right? Si es una oración negativa, solo agregamos not después de can. She can't or cannot sing very well. O she can't sing at all. No puede cantar en absoluto. Eh, ahora, si es una yes, no question, se empieza con el auxiliar de, para expresar habilidad. Este auxiliar es para expresar habilidad. Eh, 
Entonces nos olvidamos del do, del das, del be. Eso es uh, algo con lo que vamos a estar nada más expresando habilidad. Y para hacer una pregunta, pues esto es fácil. Solo ponemos el auxiliar uh, can al principio. Independientemente de la persona, entonces esto es más fácil. Vea, no importa si es primera persona, segunda persona. No importa, para todo vamos a usar el verbo auxiliar can. Eso es, en pregunta la estructura sería el auxiliar, luego el sujeto, luego el verbo y pues puede haber complemento después. Eh, por ejemplo, can you sing? Uh, now, para responder, si es afirmativo, yes, comma, I can. Si es negativo, no, comma, I can't. Um, y tenemos un par de WH, uh, so, solo se agrega una WH question o WH word al principio para hacer una, eh, si queremos información más detallada. Por ejemplo, si me preguntan, um, can you sing? Y yo digo, yes, I can. Y ahora quieren saber más, ¿qué es lo que puedo cantar? What can you sing? Um, I can sing a uh, romantic uh, songs in English, for example, y así. Eh, esto pues es como una explicación en general de cómo formar una oración afirmativa, oración negativa, yes, no questions, WH questions. Um, lo vamos a practicar más el día de mañana con más ejercicios. Y pues también tenemos la conversación, eh, que es la que dejamos acá atrás. Eh, voy a poner el audio de la conversación dos veces. Después de la primera vamos a ver palabras nuevas. Ok. Eh, voy a compartir el material. Y mañana la vamos a practicar en grupo porque ahorita ya, ya no nos va a dar el tiempo, pero pues nos podemos adelantar ejercitando un poquito la eh, pronunciación. Y ya mañana pues entramos a practicar un poco más. Igual recuerden que si hay algún tema que ustedes quisieran que repasen, me, me lo pueden hacer saber. Dejen compartir sonido. Ok. Page 66, Exercise 6, Conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Muy bien. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta referente al vocabulario? significado, pronunciación. Este, ¿Qué significa maybe? Maybe we. Eh, tal vez, o quizás. Quizás, maybe. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, teacher. All right, so vamos 
a ponerlo una vez más para finalizar y mañana pues hacemos un repaso y practicamos más este tema. Page 66, Exercise 6, Conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Muy bien. Eso sería pues la práctica para el día de hoy. Recuerden, esta es su última semana de clase. Tienen que completar la plataforma antes del jueves. Tienen que estar todo ya hecho. Cualquier duda, pregunta, pues háganlo saber y les vamos a ayudar con todo gusto. Eh, sería todo por ahora. Gracias por unirse y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. I see you. I see you.